right, Matt. Uh, welcome to the Strikers. Here we are in Coffs Harbour. Um, can you tell us sort of how you're feeling to get started and, and your journey getting to Coffs at the moment? Yeah, pretty excited to, to be finally putting the Adelaide shirt on after such a long time where it was a bit up in the air with COVID. But um, no, really excited to be down here. Um, drove down on Monday. It was a five-hour drive. Um, got the missus to drive down with me and she drove back to Brisbane, thankfully. But yeah, it was a sort of a good last trip before um, we get into the hubs. Can you tell us a bit, um, bit about the process moving to the Strikers? Um, is, is it a change of scenery or the lure of Dizzy or Adelaide Oval or what, what was it? Uh, a little bit of everything really. Um, coming at the end of last year, got an offer and yeah, had a couple of chats with a few guys at Adelaide and, and around the country. Um, but yeah, really excited to be joining Adelaide. I think the Adelaide Oval is one of the grounds that is, is most fond for me. I made my test debut there and, and always seemed to, to enjoy playing there. So um, that was a big draw card in, in moving to the Strikers. And you've had some good memories at Adelaide Oval. Um, is, was that probably a bit of a motivating factor as well, as you, as you sort of said? But can you elaborate on that a bit further? Yeah, um, obviously, test debut there. Had a, a good 90 in, um, in one of the Big Bash games a couple of years ago. But yeah, it's just one of the places I love co coming and touring. Every time we we um, get the schedule, I'll look when we're, if we're playing at the Adelaide Oval because it's such a nice venue, um, nice place as well. And, and the crowd, you, you see the crowd supporting Adelaide and. And yeah, it's one of those places that is, is really nice to play at. How do you see your own T20 game? It's obviously developed in leaps and bounds and, and even bowling a bit. How do you see your T20 game progress over the last couple of years especially? Yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed it. I think for me it's been the opportunity trying to play. Um, at the start everyone sort of thinks the red ball um, blocker and that sort of thing. But um, I always felt like I had the game for 2020 cricket. It was a bit more about trusting myself and my ability. Um, and then just enjoy myself because at the end of the day, if I'm enjoying myself, then I'm playing good cricket. How do you see your role in this team? Have you had any specific talks with Dizzy yet or where do you expect to bat in the order or anything like that at this stage? Um, a little bit here and there. I think obviously we're, we're missing Hedy and Kez at the moment. Uh, that's probably big on me to try and stand up and put a few for performances on while we're, we don't have them. But yeah, I think just trying to win games for the team, whatever that's needed. Um, that's the most important thing for me and trying to, trying to win the Big Bash. And your bowling, is it something you work on a lot in the nets? Or? Uh, I try to. Um, it's harder in Big Bash because as a spinner you come in to bowl in the nets and, and you're just getting slogged and it, it's no fun. You're just worrying about yourself um, getting hit. So trying to do a bit more away from, from Big Bash, my training, and, and, and working on it there. This team, this strikers team, guys like you know Rashid Khan, the experience of Peter Siddle, you're sort of looking at you know enjoying being on their side and not against them this year? Oh, definitely. I'm so thankful I don't have to face Rash this year. Um, I've, I've, I've gone all right against him, but you just, you always, you always, against someone of that calibre, it's always um, tough to face. But I'm sure I'll be facing him in the nets and there'll be a few times where I'm just looking like an absolute terrible cricketer. Um, and now moving up here in Coffs, um, no doubt the facilities have been pretty good, I imagine. Now moving on to Hobart. Um, Hub life, how do you think the guys are going to go in hub life? Uh, I think we're going to go all right. Um, it's obviously something that we need to adapt to. Um, a few of the boys did a hub in um, in the Shield games, but they're at home. So it's probably a bit different being away on the road. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those things we've got to deal with. And, and I think a few of the boys might be in a few pockets at, by the end of the tournament, a few couple of niche groups. And uh, last weekend, you actually batted on the same side as Linny and he bombed a few sixes. Um, is there any banter there or any spice now now playing against each other, him in the heat, you at the Strikers? Yeah, well, I opened, he was batting three, he walked out to bat and said, I said I was going to run him out twice for two, for two Diamond Ducks in the day. Um, fair to say, next ball when I went for a quick single, he, he turned me down very quickly. Um, but no, it's there's a few little banter um, with the Heat boys in the last couple of weeks, but no, I'm just excited to be with the Adelaide guys and, and, and playing with a few really good cricketers. Healthy competition isn't that bad anyway, is it? No, definitely. Not. I'm sure when, when we play them in, on the 23rd, there'll be a few um, sledges heading my way.